What's the pivot about a pain? With 2023, number three, keystone species and experimental design. Sand lances are small fish that function as keystone organisms in several coastal ecosystems. These sand lances are prey fish that support organisms at higher trophic levels. Scientists perform experiments to examine how sand lance populations are likely to be affected by rising temperatures and carbon dioxide levels associated with climate change. Sand lance embryos typically develop and mature into adult fish at low temperatures, approximately 5 degrees Celsius, and stable low carbon dioxide levels, approximately 400 microatmospheres. Over the course of two years, scientists measure the survival rate of sand lance embryos to allow to develop and mature in a laboratory at three different temperatures, 5 degrees, 7 degrees, and 10 degrees, with the level of carbon dioxide maintained at 400, 1,000, and 2,100 microatmospheres for each temperature. A has to describe the effect of increased biodiversity on the resilience of an ecosystem in a changing environment. So remember, A is always going to ask us a biology question. How does increased biodiversity affect the resilience? Well, increased biodiversity is going to increase the resilience of our ecosystem. We'll have more organisms eat for each of our trophic levels that's going to allow there to be that changing that might occur, like it can offset that changes. Okay, So ecosystem resilience. Um, it will be greater or with increased biodiversity, okay? Student said increasing biodiversity will also increase the resilience of an ecosystem in a changing environment. Because if there is a change, a small group of the ecosystem will only be the one affected and not the majority. Part B, justify the scientists selecting 5 degrees Celsius as the lowest temperature and 400 microatmospheres as the lowest carbon dioxide level in their study of sand lance embryos. Well, in the prompt, it told us that 5 degrees was the... Uh, appropriate level for it, the one that it developed the most at, and then 400 microatmospheres was also that normal level. And so this would be acting as a control. And so we want to state that this is a control, this is normal environment, um, and that it would be a use for comparing the other treatments to it. So these are normal current conditions in which the embryos develop and were used as a basis for comparison. These conditions were used as a basis to compare the effects of changing the environmental conditions or increasing in the temperature and the carbon dioxide levels. So you had to make sure that you brought back that it was some type of comparison tool and that this was either normal or that we were just observing those changes in that environment. Students said the scientists collected 5 degrees Celsius and 400 microatmospheres of their lowest carbon dioxide levels as a control group. Since sand lances normally develop and mature in these conditions, the scientists can use this control group to compare with other experimental groups to observe the changes to sand lance in response to change. So part C says to state a null hypothesis for the experiment. So I wanted to bring this back. And the way that I always tell my students to do their null hypothesis is that the independent variable has no effect on the dependent variable. So you want to look at what your experiment is. Okay, so they said that the scientists are performing experiments to examine how sand lance populations are affected by rising temperatures and carbon dioxide levels. They then go on to talk about that they were measuring the survival rate of the sand lance embryos. So you want to say that an increase in temperature has no effect on the sand lance populations. An increase of temperature has no effect on the survival rate of sand lance embryos. An increase of carbon dioxide levels has no effect on the sand lance populations. Um, the increasing carbon dioxide levels has no effect on the survival rate of the sand lance embryos. You wanted to bring the independent and the dependent variable together. So here are the different ones you could have said. Climate change will have no effect on sand lance embryo uh, survival, sand lance development, or the size of the sand lance populations. Or you could talk about the increasing of those has no effect on the embryo development and, of course, the size. Or you could say there would be no difference between the survival rate, the development, or the size measured at all different temperatures or at the different temperatures. Okay. So a student says the null hypothesis is that the changes in carbon dioxide and temperature levels will have no effect on the sand lance population and their rate of survival. Part D, the students have claimed that a reduction in the population size of the sand lances will affect the stability of the entire coastal ecosystem, provide reasoning to support the scientist's claim. The prompt already told us that the sand lances are keystone species. The prompt also told us that it was a prey species. So we have to think about what is a prey species. A prey species being consumed by the predator. And this is something you had to make sure that you stated or that you could show that you knew. So you would want to talk about that a decrease in the prey means that there's going to be a decrease in the organisms that are consuming that prey, the organisms that are consuming those sand lances. So the higher trophic levels are going to see reduction in their population sizes. So you would talk about there's a negative effect to the other trophic levels because the sand lance population provides food for many other species. Or you talk about that there's a negative effect on the other trophic levels because there's a reduction in the energy to transfer. You could not just straight say that there was a keystone species because that was given to you in the prompt. 
So because sand lances are classified as a keystone species, they're very important to control the environment ecosystem. Reducing the sand lances can decrease the secondary and tertiary consumers that prey on it while increasing the producer population. Ultimately, the population of sand lance predators would decrease because of the lack of food and competition making the ecosystem unstable. Hope that was helpful. Remember, 85 Hang was just as that's by all.